there are lessons to be learned from the past that are important for us to consider as we look at this choice that lies before us about who our next commander in chief will be. After 9-11 happened, I felt a sense of duty and wanted to do my part to be of service to our country. I could not in good conscience stay back here in beautiful Hawaii and watch my brothers and sisters in uniform go off into combat. These are people and friends who we never forget and who we strive to honor. When we had our first memorial service in Iraq, when we had hundreds of soldiers from the Hawaii Army National Guard's 29th Brigade Combat Team gathered in a memorial service, we paid our respects to the empty boots, the empty helmet, and the rifle. For those of us who have seen what the effects, what the consequences, and what the cost of war is, the qualities of judgment and foresight in our Commander-in-Chief are paramount. Bernie Sanders voted against the Iraq War. The question, Mr. Speaker, is not whether we like Saddam Hussein or not. The question is whether he represents an imminent threat to the American people and whether a unilateral American invasion of Iraq will do more harm than good. Bernie Sanders will defend our country and take the trillions of dollars that are spent on these interventionist regime change unnecessary wars and invest it here at home. I am concerned about the problems of so-called unintended consequences. Who will govern Iraq when Saddam Hussein is removed? And what role will the U.S. play in ensuing civil war that could develop in that country? Will moderate governments in the region who have large Islamic fundamentalist populations be overthrown and replaced by extremists? He has foresight when making these most critical decisions that affect us all about war or peace.